All right, one scripture we like to keep in mind when we're fishing is the one that says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. And we prefer to catch full redfish because they're prettier, they fight more, and they yield a little more meat. But today the Lord's answered our prayers with three uh, big black drum. And now uh, that was a good time, and uh, the meat's uh, really good. So we're happy to have those three black drum. But the purpose of today's video is to review the Ugly Stick Big Water Casting Rod. And that's a seven foot long medium action version uh, that we're reviewing today. I've had that rod for 14 years. And without a doubt, it's my oldest and more durable uh, spinning rod. And you know, it's a little stouter and has lasted longer than a lot of other ugly sticks that we've owned, both seven foot spinning rods and eight foot uh, catfish spinning rods. And I think it's because it's that big water spinning series of rods. Uh, they just make them a little stouter uh, for reeling in really big fish. And we've certainly reeled in more than our share of uh, big redfish, big black drum, a few sharks here and there, big freshwater catfish uh, with that rod. Right now it's paired up with a Shimano 6000 level reel uh, with 65 pound uh, Power Pro. And that rod has the backbone to uh, really bring in fish up to about 40 pounds, which is the biggest fish that I think we've tested it with. And it's, uh, it's also got uh, backbone enough to cast uh, six ounce weights together with uh, crack crab or heavier baits that we use out here fishing places like Caminata Pass when the expectation is you might catch 20, 30, 40 pound uh, redfish and black drum. So we've been very pleased with that ugly stick uh, big water spinning rod and uh, probably in the future rather than buying some of the cheaper rods like the ugly stick catfish and so on I'll probably see if I can't find more of those because that one's lasted 14 years and it's probably got another 10 or 20 years in it. All right, well, praise the Lord after catching our limit of bull redfish over on the Grand Isle Beach, uh, came over here to what's called uh, the drum hole. Uh, that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. And then it says, therefore go and make disciples of all nations. And that all authority in heaven and on earth that's given to Jesus in uh, Matthew chapter 28 is sort of the great commission. And that reminds us of the good commission in Genesis 1, uh, verse 26 through 28, where it says, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the birds of the air. Hey, it looks like a spinning rod's going off back there. Rule over the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and the beasts of the field. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the camera right now because I'm out here ruling over the fish of the sea. It looks like we got another big one on, I gotta reel in. Speaking of ruling over the fish of the sea, I've got one on my spinning rod at the drum hole. I got another one on one of the boat rods forward. I'm gonna try and tighten that drag up so I'm try and catch and release these probably big bull drum uh, quickly so they can still live. I'm going to turn the camera off for all day. Thank you, Jesus.